This is the golden age of American craft beer. We will look back and see this as a very special time. The most successful businesses are you're meeting a need that's not being met. And we didn't have our own beer before this. We are a little less than a month out from the opening of the tap room. We definitely have a lot to live up to. Here's a lady who gets it. You know, she's holding her mug. You see the beach in the background. Gives us four stars. This is the lady that I built this place for. When you're a business and when you're an entrepreneur, things are just glaring to you that aren't glaring to other people. Brewing is an art form. It's just creative. I want to make something that's not being made. The town definitely needs somewhere for people to go. You see this place and get this feeling that it deserves better than what it's been left with. 90% of our town's in a landfill. You know, we're kind of at the finish line of a community collapse, if you will. Right now, really focusing on getting people to come out to Braddock, realizing that it's no longer this dangerous spot. We trademarked the name Shorebilly. Somebody else trademarked it for use in t-shirts. That's what I'm getting sued for. And our legal fees alone is enough to put us out of business. I don't have half a million dollars. My brewery has four bar stools. Their opening day is going to be a big deal because they will have done it in a neighborhood that 10 years ago people had written off for dead. My biggest fear is for opening day. These lawyers see blood. They'll just cause destruction in their path like a suicide bomber. A small brewery undoubtedly has an impact. What that impact is going to be, who knows. I'm not going to let my employees down. I'm not going to let my customers down. I'm pulling for them, right? And I'm pulling for Braddock. So there has to be a leader. And you just got to stand up and say, I'm the captain of the ship. The ship's not going to go down. If you trust in me, just roll.